What's up everybody, Sagittarius Exotics here. We are replacing the um, engine air filter and the GLA 45. We are switching it out from the K&N uh, drop-in replacement filter to the Alpha AMS. And I'm hoping that it's gonna give some extra noise, maybe some more turbo spool noise. But I figured I'd show you guys the install in case any of you guys got stumped on how to put it in. Here's the alpha filter. Really big. And it looks really nice. They do sell a kit that replaces this cover and this right here with carbon fiber, but I didn't really think I needed that since it's gonna still utilize the stock air box. So I just bought the filter in hopes that, again, I can get some better noise, uh, quicker turbo spool, quicker throttle response, and the filter that's in here just needs to be replaced in general. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start by uh, taking out uh, these four screws. So you can see the old filter that I had in here. All you gotta do is twist it, and pull it out. And you could see that is really nasty. It needs to be replaced. So, I mean, you could clean it and oil it, but the K&N filters with the oil that's in them are not good for your math sensors. So go ahead and change that out. Check out the difference in size, I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but it's a lot, but the alpha one is a lot bigger by far. All right, so now we just gotta disconnect this. All right, so now that this is unplugged, we're gonna loosen this clamp right here. And now there's three bolts, or three screws, I'm sorry. One screw here, one screw here, and another one way down below right here. Connected to the air box, we're gonna get this out. So he's got a cool little bit he's using to help get in those angled areas. So we did unbolt this just to move it around and make it easier to get to back here. So here's the size of the stock one, right? And here's the size of the big one. Drops right up in there. So you pop out the, what is this, the O2 sensor? Yep. Pop out the O2 sensor out of the stock, whatever the heck this is. Oh, not O2 sensor, sorry. I have no idea what it's called. Okay. It was in your box though. Pretty sure it's an O2 I might be wrong. Put it in the little hole that they give you for the uh, air box. So then you just slide the new piece in there and try and jiggle the screws because it's going to be difficult to get to. Definitely, they did not make it easy. Truman Engineering, man. Yep. Now we just got to reinstall the equipment. Putting the turbo inlet back onto the adapter and then putting all of the hoses back on as well as tightening up the clamps, throwing in the filter, and it's as simple as that. Now you just put it in there and tighten up the clamp speed. See what she sounds like. 